I should probably use a summon summoner's can candle, though. Do, 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 do. Where you at? There we go. Get my stuff back. There we go. That's not enough to level up at the moment. Oh, I'll keep exploring. I could use... I have like one... I have like one crystal I could use to level up right now if I wanted to. But let's explore. I didn't really mean to do that fight yet anyway, but it doesn't seem very tough, honestly. Especially if I dispatch those two distractions really quick, then yeah, like, I was actually doing decent damage, so it's probably fine. But I want to look around. And that te that'll teach me to ever play with boss doors, even if I think they won't open. Sometimes they open, and not only do they open, but sometimes they change the rules as to whether or not it's going to immediately get initiated. Because that, that has been a... Uh that has been somewhat variable so far. Oh, is Gloopy Monster making you not come out? Oh, there you are. Hey, little buddy. Hey. Yeah, sometimes you open a door and the fight starts immediately. Sometimes you open a door and it's like, hey, look at this big clearing with the giant obvious uh, thing you're gonna fight at the end of it. Like it shows you a dark cloud and then you approach the cloud to start the fight. So it's been a little variable. Can I just shoot the skull? Answer is maybe? Kind of? Ow. Oh, crap. I'm like, I can dodge out of the way of this, no problem. I did not. Ah, that's the reason to use the sword. This thing is, does multiple attacks with every hit, so it knocks, it, it puts him in critical state, then takes him back out of critical state. So you can't do anything about it at that point. So the sword's the right move. Although, if he's vulnerable, there's a good chance he's just gonna get killed by whatever I do. So it's not that big of a deal. Here we go. But these guys are definitely meant to train you how to fight the boss, because they have the, the same attacks, by and large. Not that there's much to learn about how the boss works. What's going on here? Is that safe? That seems not safe, like, specifically. Here, you come over here. Come here. Nah? Didn't collapse under him, at least. Ugh. Good, good call, buddy. You did it. Woohoo! There we go. Finish him. You know, the good old stab and, st and scoot. What? What is going on there? Isn't that a big old crack? Can I just shoot it? It's worth a shot. The crack has me interested. And yes, I, I understand how often I say things where you're like, he just said that those words together. I'm going to quote them in the comments because, whoa, he said, ha ha. All right, can I just shoot this thing? Ah, uh, I don't trust that line of sight. Eh, worth a shot. I would have been impressed. Back to the rifle. I would have been impressed if that worked. If, uh, if the wall broke on the crack area from over there. Because there's not even necessarily a purpose to it, because I can't go over there. I guess I could pester that yokai with, with arrows and he might have to chase me. That's about it. Hey there. How you doing? No. Oh, here comes arrows. And crush. Are you done with me? You get bored? How's that for boredom? Oh man. Things are looking a little risky. <laughs> Just a tad risky. Oh, there's that big open space that's really easy to navigate. It's just this spot that's risky. And is it even worth it? Oh, an elixir. <laughs> the dragon me out to sea. Oh, there's a shrine over there. Neat. That is also a neat thing. Gosuke, the river rider. This is a bad idea. I'm going over here. Haha. -ha. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I had the most minor hopes that maybe just maybe I could get him to fall off 
Just maybe. But I never imagined like a super graceful looking side roll to his doom. That like, like, was like the perfect, the perfect dodge of the attack I was doing. But not so perfect, because he's super dead. <laughs> hey there. Don't fall in. You wouldn't want to fall in, would you? I almost wish I could make him knock in, fall in, but I don't think I can really stun him. I don't think I can really knock him back too much. A little bit. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy that happened. I'm so happy that happened. Bad times at River City. Show me your Kodama. No? Is that a way over there? More or less, yeah. And there's also a way over here. I guess I'll pray at the shrine just to grab it. And they don't even really work that way necessarily. But it's, it's something about going by a shrine without, without even clicking on it seems weird. Let's do a little... I could go for more spirit. Could go for some strength. It helps my equip max. Equip rate. Key pulse. Sword attack by a decent interval. And uh, also gives me access to new gear. I should probably put points into strength just because it's freaking... It's so low right now I can't use basic equipment sometimes. And while I like having a low equip load, my equip load is now 23%. It's getting very low, because I can't wear any heavy things. That's probably not doing me any favors. Maybe with the right augment, I wouldn't die instantly from that nightmare beam that it comes my way. Careful. I wonder what element that beam is that killed me in one hit. If maybe I can resist it with certain equipment. Does this connect all the way back around? It might. To where you left off before. Dead, on, dead end on this side. Oh, at least this ladder. Neat. There's so much level to explore here, and you can get to the boss in like a minute. Yeah. We started over there. You just go bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. Boss. You could, it's a t it's a, like a 30 second run from the where the level starts. So, without any... So like, there's, and there's not even st anything stopping you because there's no key. That's interesting. Because you would absolutely expect that boss to have barriers along the way. Let's see. Yeah, it just says to feed him and get the assistance. The torches have to help or something though, right? I may have forgotten a little bit of what she was saying at the beginning, which probably was like, Hey, light all these torches and you'll like kick his ass. Oh, it happened! Yay! I don't know, they gave me torches to light, so I'm gonna light the torches. Yeah! Aha! Those are the fires we have around there. I bet you they help with the fight, which I think I can beat without lighting the torches, but they probably help. It's also just satisfying <laughs> to complete that kind of thing. Alright. So that's, so that's the two front torches are lit, there's a back torch. Which we've seen, because that was the one off in the distance. That I haven't gotten to yet. Wow, that is a ship. That is an entire boat right there. Huh. I like how much there is to explore around here. This feels new. Not only is it an interesting location, but it's, an, it's uh, something that feels distinctly different. Like if I look, like if I played the, 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 those those poison mines and I was like, "Hey, this is this feels a lot like playing Earth and Peak to, to an extent." Uh, this one, I'm like, "Oh, this doesn't feel like any specific Dark Souls environment, or even in a, a different Neo environment," which is cool because one of the big worries immediately is that the whole game's going to be a bunch of caves and burning villages. And this is kind of a burning village, but also not. And it sure nailed it there, didn't I? Aha! You have been conquered. Wow, he's down. He's down. Well, nailed it. Ho! Oh! Ho! Oh! <laughs> I'm an idiot. What are you doing? Why'd he stop? That was weird. Huh. Not in the list of expected behaviors from him, for sure. Oh, I left... I left Neo-senpai. I need to go kill him, too. 
I want to well, have anyone let, feel left out. That'd be sad. Oh, that one got, probably felt left out when he went collapsing off the ledge like that. Are you interactive? Nah, just a descend. Where do you go? Uh, oh, Archer. Oh, there's, an, there's a path to get up here via that log. That's neat. I did not see that. Wow, this is actually a really geometrically complicated level with a lot going on. Huh? Hey! Impolite. Shame on you. There we go. Did not appreciate that behavior, frankly. There's a Kodama here. Hey, buddy! I was going to say you're going to help me for the rest of this region, but I think this is the end of the region because they're going to repair my boat. I think that's the whole point. Genshin 07. Ooh, there's a hammer, dude. Hey there. You going to spin forever? Nope, not this time. Yep. No! Oh, that's really... That's such a tease. There we go. Nope. There we go. Just keep poking them. Yeah, those heavy hammers. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see a player really kick ass with them, because I'm sure that exists somewhere. But I've when I use them, they seem like a hindrance, and when I see enemies use them, they seem like a massive hindrance. It seems to completely screw my enemies whenever they try to use something that heavy. Except for the 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 impossible poise breaker. Are you gonna wake up? I know you're there. Just so we're clear. You ain't fooling nobody. The primary time that a heavy weapon seems to help is the uh, skeleton warriors that come after me. Because they just ignore all attacks that come their way and just poise through them. I'm like, oh, he's just going to keep coming. No interrupt in that swing. Hey, Globby. I could drop attack you? Sure, but I think I've been here before, right? Maybe I haven't. Oh, maybe this is how I get behind that barrier. Because there's a... This might be how I get to that one. Yeah, there's a there's even an enemy over there that I haven't used yet. And because my network's not connecting correctly right now, I know all those guys are uh are uh, NP are uh what do you call them? NPC uh, not NPC uh, developer placed. I actually might keep this game offline. Why would I want it to be online necessarily? Just to have enemy players everywhere? That might be cool if I'm trying to farm certain resources. But for my first playthrough of the game. Uh, it probably doesn't hurt to just have the whole game be only the NPC ones. Okay, that was not as effective as I might have hoped. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's disappointing. Aw. What the heck happened there? Huh. He got stunned, and he went down, and I'm like, oh, there's my chance to do the execution thing. And then he just stood back up and knocked me off the ledge. I'm like, what? <laughs> what What happened to the whole part that, th that always happens? <laughs> Excuse me, sir, that's my stuff. And I would like to have it back, if you don't mind. What's over here? Danger? Looks like it. Looks like a whole lot of danger. All right. What go wrong, right? Just gotta carefully not go flying off the ledge. What are you doing, sir? Wake up. <laughs> That's a good dodge. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. Just don't go falling off. Okay, are you having pathing problems with the fact that you're up here? Because I wouldn't blame you. I did. I died. Oop. Oop. There we go. Careful now. Oh, I don't like how close I am to the ledge. Woohoo. Get out, get out. Oh, shoulder. Sneaky. You're a sneaky. Alright, uh, probably should use that. Nah, it's fine. Alright. He was having some... He seemed to have be having pathing issues. I think the enemies don't recognize those boards as things they can walk across. So that... Well, he did eventually. But the other guy's pathing stopped there, which was weird. Is there a Kodama down there? Because I don't think I reached the end of that barrier. Is that a Kodama? That's a slime monster. Not a priority for me, though. Killing every slime monster. Just the ones in my way. 
And that's where I tried to test where the, the underwater thing and whether it was safe. So I've been there. Okay. Where am I on the map right now? I'm trying to gauge whether or not I want to jump down on that dude. Oh yeah, you're you're back. Hi. You alright? Nah? Yeah, he's all squishy and easy to take down because he's a uh, bow user. Alright, I'm curious. Is this a one-hit kill or not? Because, like, can I pierce the skull? Just take him out? No, the answer's no, the answer's no, the answer's no. Hey, Kodama. Ow! That's not very nice. There we go. Hey, friend. Please don't make me fall off the ledge. There we go. That's good. This is a very much a blocked path, so I think I think I made the right call jumping down. I think this is something I haven't done yet. Oh, well, there goes that whole bear. Look at that. It's just gone. Bye. Anyone? Or just guy? Not just guy. Definitely not. Wow. Wow. Just normal attacks took out all of this key. And there goes all your stuff. Yep. Oh! <laughs> I love how consistently that's happening. That's great. There we go. Just get rid of that real quick. Let's uh, let's thoroughly explore the area before I summon things. Hi. And that's why. That is why. This is why we explore. You doing alright? Now look at so hot at the moment. And no keep ah sorry, I always forget about that one. Ow! Okay. Okay. We're going over here for a second. That was a bad. That was a bad. Shame on you! Oh my god, the range. He actually closed the gap. Ha! That was unexpected. <laughs> Oh, what? Okay. Them hitboxes be interesting sometimes. Yeah, you do that. You show that air who's boss. Wow, he uh, he cost me some elixirs because I'm a stupid and did stupid things. <laughs> that was a bad series of actions on my part. All right. No Kodama there. One of these days, I'm going to be like 75% through this game. Hey, a Summoner's Candle. And suddenly it's going to be a straight-up Mimic Chest. Like, not the... It's, it's, it's not going to be the Badger. It's going to be a straight-up Mimic. Like, it's the chest just going to eat me. It's like, ah, we faked you out for so many hours. You thought these weren't a thing, but they're a thing. Oh, there's the... The obligatory Hot Spring location. Neat. I think the Hot Spring's going to be my reward when I take this guy down. Which now I better do, or I'm gonna feel the super silly. Hey, Saku the missing. Uh, he has been found. She has been found. Probably. Oh, it has to be he, because they're all, they're all copies of Willem. Yeah. Well, that happened. The secret was to throw giant fireworks at him. Then he was easy to find. <laughs> Go ahead and take a rest. Hi, everybody. Gotta get a hot spring bath to make up for that time. Oh, bye. Make up for that time that I uh, got doused in cold water. Whoa. Hi. Good thing you're really glowy and bright. <laughs> I only briefly caught the br the tiniest glimpse of a bright thing. I'm like, oh, there he is. That's one of them. I've lost count, unfortunately, so I don't know how many I have now. I'll check the next shrine when I'm at one. But it's probably like six. I feel like I've got a decent chunk of them now. This is very much a dead end. Ha 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 ha! Hi! I found your presence to be unexpected. Ow! Didn't even have a chance to start a combo that time. Yep. 
Yes, that was my uh, samurai cover of We Will Rock You by the Queen. <laughs> Sorry, just... Shink! Shink! Just for the entire fight. <laughs> Augmented by the, the thunderous sound of, cla of sl slicing through the, uh, the water monster. Ambush? No? Ah, uh, probably a one-way door. Yeah, there's a little board holding it closed. So they tried to maintain the sanctity of this place by keeping the door closed, and apparently succeeded, although she's dead, so I guess not. Oh! That unceremonious kick is almost deflating. Ah, uh, this is how we get there. There's the shrine I have to light. There it is. Found it. And you're one of the things. You're a demon. Let's just get rid of you right now. There we go. 2014! This game's so outdated. Where do these paths lead? Hi. How you doing? Do not fall off. Do not fall off. I don't want to go over there anymore. I don't like it over there. Get up. I don't even want to execute you over there. I don't want to risk things happening. Aww. What's the body count for this place? Seriously. This place is completely desecrated and obliterated. There's no one left. Ooh. Almost back up on elixirs. That's good. Look! Hi. And that's why we block. That's why we walk around blocking. A lot. Although I did, did just dodge it in time anyway. But if not... Whew. That was a real close one right there. Huh. Haven't had a badger for a while. They're pretty consistently normal chests now. There we go. Another sacred brush just to show how much I don't use them. They, we can't carry them anymore. There's no way I, I can light that, right? I want to fight it anyway, but I, wanna, I also want to see if I can light this without aggroing them. Because that'd be interesting. Nope. Oh, it's one of these guys. Alright. I'll use mid-stance sword on you. There we go. They gave me trouble early in the game, but honest, but yeah, I've gotten a pretty consistent pattern on how to take them out using the uh, sword. Hey there. Number three. Huh. So I take it that's probably why they let you... Hey, hey, Kodama. That's probably why they let you reach the... Oh, that was all of them. That's number nine. They probably let you reach the, uh... The, um... Boss fight so quickly because you're supposed to light all of these. And that's the part that takes time. But I just went straight to the boss fight. But judging by how things were going, I think my next... I think my second attempt would have been a victory anyway. But now he won't know, I guess, because... This is happening. <laughs> I've got bombs! <laughs> bombs! So many bombs! Woohoo, bombs! Now swing at me. Swing at me. Ow! That's not a swing. Ah! <laughs> Take out. No elixirs for you. I see what your game is. There we go. One slight issue. Um. Oh, there we go. I was like, how do we leave? <laughs> Sorry. I murdered you. I did not see him, by the way. Effective disguise. I completely missed that. He, there must have been eyes on this side, right? Huh. Completely missed him, but obviously there was other ways to get around. Neat. It shots 2014 again. This game so outdated. Let's make that joke twice. <laughs> okay, so let's go over here. Because for some reason I didn't kill this guy. I just left. And he's like, ah, two of them. Two of them at once. 
Isn't that the tad overkill? I just want to fight a samurai, dude. Ow. Oh, you guys are going to be in my way. Okay. Maybe they'll just stop aggroing if I run away a little bit. Ha! Ah! Don't aggro, don't aggro, don't aggro. I want to fight him over here. Okay, th this is probably safe-ish. That guy's coming after me, though. That's a bad idea. Oh! I screwed up bad. Ooh, that's a bad time for you. Okay, let's not go by the ledge. Now I'm out of key. That's bad, too. These are all bad things. No one aggro real quick. I need to do stuff over here. Oh, good dodge. Bad dodge. Yes. Okay, careful. Could you go away? I know this is a good time. For, that would have been a good time for a living weapon, but I'm about to do a boss fight, so I might as well save it for the next 30 seconds before the boss fight starts. And I have about enough to level up. I might as well spend that so I don't have to worry about losing my Amrita during the fight. Watch out. Quick rest. There we go. Everything's A-OK. -okay. I need about two grit. 2100? About, I'd say. Please. Ah, let's use a bunch of these guys. Just to shorten the stack. Otherwise, it's gonna cap out eventually. There we go. Because that does stop at 99, apparently. Gotcha. We could go another point to strength. Could go into heart a little bit. Wouldn't hurt for a bit of extra key. Two points at a time. It's, it's a slow development, but it, it counts. And then those key pulse, more attack damage. I'm gonna go for some strength just because of how it's, uh, it's the lowest stat of those two, and it'll give me access to more equipment overall. There we go. <laughs> the animation there. Okay. So yeah, I've saved my... I've saved my uh, living weapon. I could have used it a few times during the fight, during the, the course of the dungeon, yes. Ah! But, near the end, I definitely saved it during that fight. That that three-on-one fight would have been a great time to use it, but, uh... But if, if the next... if my next step is the boss fight, then it's a bad time to spend it. Here we go! Don't know what effect the fires have. Oh! Oh, no. Yes! Oh! The extra enemies come out of the fires! Interesting. Now they're... That's why there was a bunch of loot over there. I was wondering why the one fire had loot by it. I figured maybe I just killed one of them over there. Ish. But I didn't kill him over there. It's just the fire was there because one of them was auto-dead, basically. Alright, I'm going to cover you with bombs now. There you go, that's a start. You're on fire, sir. Are you okay? Oh. I guess he's less on fire when he goes underwater. <laughs> it's kind of the antithesis of being on fire, in many ways. They're like, fire, my ultimate weakness. I mean, water. Shit. Use what I got, right? I'm gonna try to maintain that fire stat for a little while. Trying to keep the fire stat, the fire meter up. Oh, that's gonna be the beam. Yep, but now I know how to recognize that. I probably want to shoot that. I imagine poison's not very effective against a giant blob monster. Alright. So maybe uh, maybe a living weapon next? I've exhausted my, my bombs. Rip. Yeah. Oh. That's what I get. Did not realize he was doing it. <laughs> huh. It's a surprisingly brief wind-up to that attack happening, isn't it? The, uh... The launching of that particular, uh, shot. 
Like, it, it, it is telegraphed, because his whole face turns into a giant crater. But, uh, it's surprisingly brief, the transition between not doing that and totally doing that. <laughs> so I've gotta, I've gotta really keep an eye out for it then, because that's super deadly. And maybe it's a resistance thing where I lack a certain resistance type, but... At the moment, it definitely seems to do enough damage that I'm just totally screwed if I don't take it wrong. On the bright side, they're giving me free elixirs, so that's nice of them. Did he just do it already? That was fast. I guess maybe I should just not grab those elixirs so they're available to me during the fight. But in my head, I'm like, oh, I'll just grab them right off the bat. If I grab them right away, then they'll be there for me later uh, in my backlog. Oh, it's a bad time. Also, that fire was way less, defe le less effective this time. Uh oh. Okay, I got out of the way somehow. Fear my poisony blade. It doesn't do crap. Yeah, poison's pointless here. Also, my bombs were way less effective this time, so that's fun. Okay, that was that was hard. That hurt. That hurt. Oh, not blocking might have been bad there. Hard to say. Watch out. Eh, maybe not. I thought maybe I'm supposed to shoot the hole. Like, that looks like an opening. This looks like the perfect time to strike. Ow, not blockable, as it turns out. No! I was on the ground, you prick. Jesus. All right. Ow. I thought that was the one that... Uh, that was the wrong one. Whoops. Jeez, he's happy about that one, huh? Huh. His patterns have changed a little bit. He seems to be... This time around, he's a little ha happier to do the weird multi-claw, multi-tentacle slam, and the laser. I really hope I can't fall off the cliff towards him during this fight. That would suck. Ow, by the way? Ow. So I get for hugging. This is strictly a no-hugging zone. But, damn it. Getting more samurai proficiency points. Gonna have to spend those after this one. After this fight. I Okay, he's taking really slow damage. I must be missing a strategy here, right? Why am I locking on? Like, why am I doing that? Uh, shit. That was a bad dodge decision. Wow, okay. I... F I think I did less damage that attempt than I did from just my bombs alone in the first attempt. So he's, uh, he's a damage sponge. Alright, I'm clearly missing something, so let's try something new. Let's try using the fire. Is there something I can do with the fire besides the initial step? Because I interp- ah! I figured the fire was just there to help me against the enemies. Sweet. Cool. I love it when enemies have one-shot kills. <laughs> It makes it extra exciting! <laughs> oh, That's a bummer. Still, my character put his hand up to it, so I'm, that must be it then, right? Uh, ah, watch out. So in the moment, I thought that lighting the fires just means not fighting those three enemies at the beginning. Or, well, two for me, but I, only, I had one lit at the time. So I thought it was like, oh, those enemies aren't here. He's useful, and they even drop elixirs. Isn't that nice? But it seems that using the fire is also useful for other reasons. Where did I die? Over here. There we go. Oh yeah, it, it fire enchants your weapon. Okay. How you feeling, buddy? Oh! Not so good, as it turns out. Oh yeah, that was the damage. That's where I was hiding all my life. Still not spectacular though. 
He's taking damage, but not a mil not a ton of damage. And I only get a little bit of these. So either I need to get a fire weapon. Yeah, I could use some better fire sources, probably. Hot! Okay, that was close. Hey, here goes the fire. It's over now. Okay, then. Let's do this. Ow, my face hurts. Like, just in general, really. Nope. No! Close one. Close one. Hey, yeah, we're doing... Oh, that... We're doing that one now. Okay. Bad time. Bad time. <laughs> just gonna poke away at him for a bit if I can. What you doing? Okay, this is the lowest he's been so far, I think. Or something like that. Close-ish to that. Quickly. No, do it! No, do it! Ah. You fought me on it, game. You fought me on it, and I paid for it. Alright. Bombs? Bombs. Pokey pokey. There we go. Oh, that, that, was, too, that was too far away, apparently. Uh, so every time he douses- Oh my god! I learned something I didn't necessarily want to learn, which is that he comes onto the level. Okay. Hi. Okay, that's a problem. Oh no. Oh no, I'm learning new things about him now that I don't want to learn. Ow. Pain. That's a bad too. Those are all bads. Okay, no. Okay. You're really screwing my death perception with your giant gloopy body. Your weird ass gloopy body is weirding me out. Oh, his that's the vulnerability part spot, right? Ow. Quickly, fire. Ah, block. Elixir. Let's get away from this corner of death. Careful, careful. Hook. All right, that's a cool boss fight. <laughs> Jesus Christ, though, that's stressful. Poor guy probably got drowned. Then turned into that. All right, so the tor so these torches were multi-purpose. They get rid of the enemies at the beginning of the fight and then add. A, a tool to use during the fight. That's neat. And there's a phase change to watch out for. Knife Yes Donova Saigokno Choriako Susmeteor Mori dewa Ikokno Monoma de Stedo Tazo Tomokno Shibio Doja Otani Kyokutano.新州真田はこちらに着きましょう。しかし、東国は今や徳川が本気を。多くの大名がすでに密約を結んでおります。三成殿も人気がないの。いやはや全く。いかにすればここまで嫌われることができましょう。ならば物の分からぬ大名どもに今一度義を説こう。文化。また義を振りかざして敵を増やさぬといいが。家康殿には成功法では勝てぬ。わしと共に手を汚してくるんか、行部殿よ。もはや六人目も見えず、下法で生きておるに。今さら聖堂を歩もうと、神仏の救いは受けられますまい。この者が太宰府に取得された五国の霊石を見つけ、こたびの戦で
わしらも異国の者に頼ると申すか Definitely getting some、uh, Dynasty Warriors vibes from the storytelling in this game, which makes sense because it's the、uh, same publisher, Koei Tecmo, I, I believe, right?、Uh, not outside the ideal、uh, realm of possibility. You're often. Because they're, they're often telling a story to an audience that is so familiar with this story that they don't feel like they have to actually tell the whole story,、uh, it kind of comes across as a bunch of random cutscenes that aren't connected very tightly together. It's, an, it's usually not a very cohesive story because you get a weird. You, basically, you'll play a big level where you're playing a sum character in a battlefield or something. And then out of nowhere, afterwards, it's a, cut, it's a cutscene of different characters that aren't you just chilling out, having some conversation about strategy or the fate of the kingdom or something like that. And then it goes back to you fighting in a war and like, it goes back and forth like that. It's like always jarring and it always feels like you skipped a week or two between each cutscene without much of the context and connective tissue. But, it, but it because they're, it's because they're telling stories that they find so familiar that they don't have to fill in the gaps. And this is kind of like that because we're playing like a fantastical version of Japanese history that they heavily tell. So it'd be like, not, it'd be like,、uh, like if you just skipped to like, what if, what if every major conflict in American history was shown in the, in the, in the, in the form of one cutscene each, basically, is kind of how it ends up happening. Because we, because we just would fill in the gaps on our own, or whatever your his, or whatever your country's history is. Various other people watching, <laughs> listen, it happens. Anjin was it? Nice work. The Kabuyakawa always keeps his promises, so I'll be glad to ask the Murakami to fix your ship. Feel free to tell Lord Iyasu that he can count on us for help as well. Well, most likely anyway. The Mori clan is quite large, after all. It can take time to build a consensus. We got foreboding seas.、Uh, oh, a new way of the ninja mission. That's good. That'll give me access to more skills.、Uh, so we have. We have the heir to Neo, which is apparently a lower level mission.、It's, I'm not really sure how they rank this stuff. Rank 2 mission, rank 1 mission. It has one torch. Interesting, but, but it's a higher level. I guess it's just supposed to be an easy mission, maybe a little storytelling thing, and that's it. So we got that submission. We have the ability to change. Wow. That goes all over the place, huh? Oh, the Bridge of Bone. So, two side quests, proceed to next region, and. Foreboding Seas, level 49. Not totally outside of my range. I might actually end up doing that soon ish. We'll see.